Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. Scorpio, let's check out your cards for this week, starting the 3rd of April. And from the teacup tarot deck, your overall energy, the four of wands, says it's time for you to receive with grace and gratitude. This is you being appreciated for everything that you do and all that you are. And it's time for you to say thank you and enjoy the results of that. It's so very easy to always be the giver. And sometimes it's lovely to receive. And this is your overall energy. Your help or your hurdle, the queen of one steps up with a lovely dose of confidence for you. The queen of wands, an authority figure from the deck, absolutely personifies confidence and self-belief. Her motto is, yes, I can. And sometimes, yes, I can, you just watch me. Anything that she needs, she can manifest in an instant. And she's very willing to share all that knowledge with others. So here's a lovely dose of self-confidence for you. Here's that lovely dose of self-belief. Because the next card, the Ace of Coins, talks about a wonderful golden opportunity showing up. The Ace of Coins is very much about opportunity. It could be a pay rise. It could be a new job. It could be a new form of study, a new career. This is you opening the treasure chest and moving towards this golden opportunity. Have the confidence. This is what the Queen of Wands is asking you to do. How can we help ourselves? The Page of Coins steps up. Now, the pages all bring a message. They are all messengers. And the Page of Coins says, do the research, do the study and find out all the information you need. Very often pictured with their head in a book, the page of coins is asking you to read up all the information that you can, especially where it's going to concern this new opportunity. Do your homework, in other words. Pulling it all together, the Seven of Pencils says it's time for you to focus on your needs and your new plans. Turning your back on the old ways, learning from experience and taking all those pearls of wisdom with you. The Seven of Pencils says now it's time to focus on you, your new plans, your needs, and that's where the signpost is guiding you. And the final outcome card, the five of coins says, ask for any help if you need it. Get your focus in a positive place. Know that you have all the resources that you need. This is just a temporary sense of lack. Do your homework. Find out all the information and know that you've got everything you need. The golden opportunities here. Be ready to start off in this new direction. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. Whoops. The 20 of Wisdom says, pause, reflect, realize how well you're doing, realize how far you've come, and now it's time to plan this next adventure. Could very well have to do with this new opportunity here. The 17 of Wisdom is the star card from traditional tarot. This is your success, positive outcomes, receiving credit for your achievements, recognition and appreciation. How lovely that it's fallen next to this card. That's exactly what I was saying here. 
The two of wisdom says pause and think it through first. Now we were talking about that here, doing your homework. The two of wisdom just comes in with another little nudge saying, just read it all through, think it through carefully and decide what it is that you would really like to do. So it isn't the week for snap decisions. It isn't the week for a rushed decision. Think it all through. Do your homework before deciding. The six of emotion is a card of the past. So it's remembering the past with love. It's also considering what you always wanted to do. There might be an opportunity here coming round for a second or third time. And this might be the ideal time for you to seize that opportunity. So think it through and make your choices with care. The four of action. This is a double message here. It is in capital letters for you. Receiving with grace and gratitude. It's the card of happiness and contentment and joy. And your final outcome card. It's lovely. This is the victory card. This is you. Enjoying the results of your hard work victory and success so looking at the cards very much a car a week for you to receive with grace and gratitude success and victory are here the new opportunity is here so have the confidence to go for it and be mindful do your homework first think it all through carefully know that you've got everything that you need and here you go. It's time for you to be the star of your own show. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Thank you for doing that. It's lovely when you do. It makes a huge difference to me. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon.